All right, what's going on? Welcome back, everybody. We are jumping into our next kind of unboxing and install on the C4 Fab. So we're going to knock out the Warren Evo winch. We're going to unbox that one and then install it on the low profile winch bumper. So Did I already say beefy? Because this thing is heavy as hell. Kind of a plus it's already spooled so that is nice plug right here install instructions free spool and engage free spool engage very nice all right so i'm almost positive that for our install we have to remove this i don't think it fits in the cone it's like a bar I think it holds the radiator here, so we're gonna relocate this. It looks like you definitely have a good amount of room and play here to uh, relocate nicely. So should give us enough room to kind of shove this somewhere else, and that way we'll fit everything in the truck. Let's uh, let's take a look and see what's in these boxes. So this is the fair lead. It's a nice piece. I was thinking about picking up a Factor 55, but I think this looks great. I'm thinking this is the remote. What I was looking for, this is our negative terminal. And then positive. Awesome. Plugged in or wire, you get a you get to pick what mode you want. You want it plugged in or you want the wireless. Uh, there is a battery in here, it looks like. Solid plug too. It looks like it's solid. All right, let's see what we got in here now. Should be our hardware. All right, so this hook. Not a huge fan of, of not a huge fan of these hooks just because I don't like the uh, open winching. So I do have something I'm gonna put in its place. But you get one. Mounting hardware and some more mounting hardware. All right. Let's see what we got. Here's uh, just a quick shot of everything that came in the box. You got the winch, paperwork, your remote. Your uh, connection to the remote if you don't want to go wireless. It's a good fair lead. I was thinking about picking up an aftermarket one, but this, this looks like it'll be just fine. Um, negative, your hook, which I'm going to replace this with like a closed loop, and then your hardware. So. so guys, for us, if we're running this Evo, we're going to have to relocate this, like the upper control box, basically, where all your wiring goes into. And if you look right here, you got four Allen bolts, two in the back here, and then two more in the front. So we're going to pop those off real quick before we throw it on here. It'll just be a little bit easier to get into them, having it here on the table as opposed to having it installed. Right now, I'm just working through those six mil Allen head bolts. You will have to maybe tweak the rope a little bit just to get to them, but they will come out. So now this box is off and removed. As you can see where it was sitting kind of right here. Um, now we got a little bit more space and should fit in the truck better. Now let's go ahead and cut this thing off. And these with the 
These two are for the Faraday. So I'm thinking we're going to throw the Faraday on first before we shove this in behind here. Kind of want to make sure that this is going to fit here with the bolts for the fair lead in. So we're lucky, so the bolt holes lined up pretty good. Right here I'm just grabbing a 19 mil socket and ratcheting wrench to be able to tighten those bolts down. Centered. Let's uh, see what it looks like with the winch on there now. So now we've got to just make sure that all these holes line up. So you have two sets of hardware here. You have kind of a shorter and a longer set. Uh, I think the shorter set's going to work for us, but we'll find out in two seconds. Um, then you got, you know, your lock washers and your flats, but you also have these square nuts and these square nuts kind of slide right into there in the front and the back. Um, and that's what you're going to be bolting into. So right in this slot, square nut slide, and then the bolt basically is going to come through whatever you need, just like this. It's going to be a little awkward because I got this thing off. If you guys install it all on, you won't go through the same issues I'm going to go with right now, but. I'm just going to throw that on here and make sure that I slide. Let's see if I can. I want to see if I, I'm going to just release it a little bit. Let's see if I can just kind of spool out a little here. There we go. And make sure it gets through. The, perfect. Drop that here and just lock that back in place. Okay. We're going to start our back hole here. Slowly trying to uh, line these up. All right, so the back one's in. So this one looks a tiny little bit off right here. See if I can line this one up real quick. Hmm. Ah, let's see something. Sometimes it's always a good idea when you're trying to screw something through a couple different holes and a couple different spots like have a screwdriver because you can look through and kind of line up exactly what it is that you need. Alright, that's lined up and now that one is lined up. So those bolts look like uh, 16s. Shorty 16, also 16 ratcheting. I would like to just Make sure it is kind of aligned, and what I'm going to try to do is push it as far forward as I can, because I know the space back there is going to be tight. Looks like we're pretty much there. This is a 19, and there is my 16. Perfect. It's pretty cool they left these cutouts right here for you so you can get a wrench in there, so that was pretty nice.
Oh, it looks like the short one's a little cash, so. So here it is. Uh, the control box kind of sits right here. Uh, for us on the Tacoma, I'm pretty sure it's not going to fit here. So it's going to be kind of relocated somewhere up here so that you can still get into your switch if you need to, about right here. So all that work will be coming down the pipe. But it's still in. Uh, it looks like you still can reach once you're in the truck, be able to reach in through to hit your free spool and your lock. Um, See if I can kind of get you up this way through the front. So kind of give you an idea of what she looks like. There we go. There we go. Not bad. I like it. It's looking good. Perfect. So, oh, so now the winch is on, light bar is on. We have the fair lead is on. So up next is just uh, getting it on the truck. But it's going to stay like this here, ready until I have the time to uh, get it on the truck. So I hope you enjoy.